Hello everyone and welcome back to Only Frames. This is another instalment of the Ramsgate Rail Pool League Invitational a Division 1 matchup. We've got Steve just coming to the table now. Nicest guy in the league. He's run a couple of our best players as close as they will be run all season, I imagine. Playing against our current league leader, Anna beaten and on a real resurgence Tom who I've taken real joy in belittling and undermining but this season he is the form player in the league. The Tom's break has come up dry we've got Steve at the table playing the yellow balls he's taken a couple of nice ones out and now he's in amongst them that's a decent pot. He's got this yellow to the middle, I believe, although the way he's looking at it, he's having a nose at the one to the top as well. No, he's got down on it. His problem ball, obviously, is the yellow tucked behind the red. He's missed that one to the middle, near jaw, and Tom is striding to the table, absolutely brimming with confidence, strutting like John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. If only Geppetto had painted on some chest hair as well as that mop on top of his barnet, he'd look the part too. He's geared that first one in, left himself nowhere in terms of position. He's covered a pocket, but he's let Steve back in. Steve's going to take the far side one and see if he can manufacture an angle to get onto his final yellow, but I think he's going to struggle. He's the wrong side of it, so he's going to have to do something He's just dropped it in. I think he can see the outside edge of the yellow, so Tom shouldn't be looking at a foul. Yeah, Steve's just knocked it out. He's left it quite handy, not a million miles away from the pocket. Tom now back at the table again, sprinting. He is a man on a mission until he actually gets to the table and addresses the ball. And then that takes him about four minutes to hit one. Tom credits his resurgence this season to not thinking about things quite as much. He's resting his spare brain cell and only using one at a time. And it's shown there because he's not where he's wanted to be. I don't think he's going to take this one to the middle. His problem ball, obviously, is the one next to the black He's having a look at it now, trying to see if he can work a double or a position where he can drop the red above the black and then run into the two of them to disturb them. Problem with that, I think, is that he's going to be sending the red the other way. The real problem, though, is you've got to make sure you pot that ball first. The black being where it is in such close proximity to the red is doing Tom a favour. Steve's going to have to work some magic with this white ball here. No, he's just dropped it in. He's left this kind of nowhere. I think he'll just play to get the black out and maybe leave the white similar to where it is now. Oh, he's in it. Oh, he's nearly fluked it. He's been unlucky. Shot and a visit for Tom, and out of nowhere, he's massive favourite now. He just needs one decent shot. Looks like he's going to try and roll this up the cushion, put it somewhere near the pocket, have those two reds near one another. Yeah, that will do. That's a decent shot, to be fair to him. I'll give him credit where it's due. And this now should be absolutely academic. Yeah, he's made the plant. He's left himself a nice angle now. Naturally, the white's going to come down towards the black. How's the pace? It's a bit short, which has been said about Tom quite regularly, actually. But he's going to screw into it, cut it to the middle, avoid steering off. 1-0, and he has pinched Steve's pocket. Frame two, we join Steve at the table playing reds. They're nicely spread out, as are the yellows. But I think Steve is slight favourite, being that he's at the table. And nothing of his is impeded at all. He can take this one now. All he has to do is either just roll through for the red down the bottom there, using the yellow to slow down, or just stun back and take the other one to the middle. Sort of a bit betwixt between, but he's still on it, and he's going to stretch for this one. As long as he gets up that top half of the table, he's absolutely fine, which he has. 
He's going to take the one over the pocket. And this is looking like a quick strike back and a very nice clearance. Yeah, that's a good pot. He's just going to need to run through with the white a bit to make sure he gets onto this red to the middle. Oh, he's missed the pot. He left himself the long red into the bottom. And he's tied his red up a little bit as well. Only bonus is I don't think Tom can see what he needs to have the yellow on the left-hand cushion to be able to make it. So Tom's playing a really negative shot, actually. I think he was playing a safety, and it hasn't turned out that way at all. Or he was trying to make a, a really thin cut plant. Tom being attackive like he is, he's probably played the plant. And Steve's unlucky taking that red to the top. These are still a little awkward. I'm not sure that's a natural plant to the bottom pocket. But Tom's probably about to prove me wrong as he's down on it. Loads of side on it. Position absolutely nowhere. He's taken a page out of Chris's playbook besides... Obviously not having the potting prowess of the big man as proven there. Right on cue, Tom. Thanks for that. Steve now needs to take the one over the top. Make sure he finishes to the right-hand side of the table and he will be in clover. Where's that white? Lovely. He's all right. This red will just drop him past the yellow. Black to the middle. And we're looking at one all, and this game has really opened up. Oh, he hasn't played it with enough pace. The white has fallen short for Steve here. This will have to be some pot, but as it goes, Steve's not bad as a one ball potter. He's missed it, and Tommy now is back at the table with a chance to pinch Steve's pocket once again. And then you saw his face as he came into view. He means business i'm not sure he's got the angle he wanted on there but tom does get a lot of reaction on the cue ball so i don't think it'll be too much of an issue for him to screw back and get on it i think he would have wanted it a little bit further than that but it's certainly not the end of the world it's fairly simple and he's missed it and he's left it safe the standard in this game has our channel living up to what we promise below average pool and you can see more of that on our tiktok and instagram pages which will be winging their way onto the screen right about now tom's coming back he's looking at this black down to the bottom straight down on it full of confidence for no reason at all so far that's right into the heart of the pocket, though. 2-0, and he apologises, as he should, because he has robbed him. Tom's on playing yellows. He's 2-0 up, and he's huge favourite in this frame. That was a foul. I was going to ask the question. I'm going to assume Tom has called it on himself. He was embroiled in a cheating scandal last season, and this season... He has been whiter than white, calling fouls on himself regularly, uh, costing himself a last man standing competition at our comp day as well, where he was on a Cinderella run to the final, but the foul cost him his game versus Chris. Steve now just needs one good pot, and he's got himself back in the game. That's a cracker. Positioning is perfect. He couldn't have put it on the table any better than that. That one mistake by Tom. Oh, I was about to say he's been punished, but he's rattled it. He's left it up, and Tom's going to nick another frame. It's going to be 3-0, and it could be 2-1 either way. This is absolutely unreal. He's looking as if he's going to play the yellow that's over the hole straight away. I think that was a mistake. I think you had to risk the plant. I know it wasn't a natural, but that was always the risk is that this was going to finish awkward. And I don't think he's got the minerals to roll this down to the bottom pocket. Prove me wrong, Tom, if you can. Absolutely miles away. He tried to invent another pocket between the middle and the bottom. That was back to back. Terrible shots. And Steve is going to get his first frame on the board. And this is anybody's. 
Frame four, Tom's at the table. He's on the yellows. This looks like it's been a bit of a mess of a frame. And for someone who talks about being attacking and calls himself the fan favourite and league leader, that was a negative shot. He hasn't developed anything of his own. He's just left Steve slightly awkward. And Steve has punished him with an absolute ripper of a pot to the top pocket. Oh, but then he's missed the easier one. And he's developed Tom's yellow for him. One decent double and Tom's in with a chance to make it 3-1. And he's done the first bit. This isn't easy, though, because they get position. He needs loads of top. And these middle pockets are not like balls being played in at pace. So he's taking it to the top instead. And he's lost the white, I think. He's always queuing down on it, butts up in the air. I've been seeing Tom attempt swerve shots in real life. I can tell you the expectations were low and somehow he has managed not to meet them. Steve's in one decent shot and position and these three are right out in the open. White's a little bit awkward, but he has dropped it in. He's going to struggle to just sort of stun this. I think you've just got to drop it dead weight. Oh, he's played it at pace. He's fluked it. And apologises to Tom like the gentleman that he is. Can he now make one more good pot to the bottom right and have parity in the game? Bit of top to make sure of position. Position's good. The pot not so much. And that red is in a bad spot for Steve. Tom leaps into frame like Spider-Man. He sees himself as a bit of a hero to the people He's missed that, and that's absolutely diabolical. This has completely devolved. It's become Lord of the Flies on a pool table. That's a nice safety by Steve. Very canny shot, actually. Tom's probably going to try the up and down. Nope, he's also just going to play a nice little safety. This is more like it, lads. Scrap these pots that you've got no hope of making and let's get into a tactical battle. I think Steve's over. Oh, he's gone for it. Top bag. Not a million miles away. Sort of a shot to nothing because Tom hasn't looked likely put in anything that's not simple bar the odd one. And this isn't simple. And he has duly obliged with a miss. And where's that white? Oh, he's got lucky and it's hung over the hole. Steve has got no choice now, I think, but to attack this. Cross double back to the middle. Oh, he's gone for a triple. Quad. No, no joy. Thin cut back for Tom. The white's going to be moving. No, he's not going to have a lot of control over it. He's made the pot. Probably got a little bit unlucky catching the red, but he did the important thing and made sure of the yellow and this is close to putting us out of our misery and finally getting rid of this frame great black to finish it where did that come from 3-1 tom back at the table playing reds i'm just gonna say it these were all there until he's played that absolutely diabolical positional shot He's got to take the one over the middle. I don't know how he's going to get on to something next. He's going to give it a load of top left by the looks of it. He's giving it a wallop. Yeah, oh, it does that red pass. Well, the first one passes the black, but where does the other one go? I was going to say, I think he's got a bit lucky, but not entirely sure what he's going to do with. It doesn't matter what he would have done with his last red because he missed the penultimate one. Steve comes to the table. These yellows are awkward and he's going to take the one that's blocking the red. I think that's a mistake by Steve, if I'm honest. And he's already struggling for position because these yellows are terribly, terribly placed. That would have been a nice pot. How's your white looking? He's missed the pot. The white's at the other end of the table, but I think he might be okay. I think this is a tricky positional shot, needs good cue ball control. And Tom has proven time and time again that he does not have that. I love his confidence, though. He's proven that he can't make these shots, but he keeps trying them anyway. 
That was terrible. Steve's back at the table. He's going to take the one over the hole again. He's hit the black. That's done him a favour, actually. He wants to leave those two yellows there to make Tom's life more difficult in the final positional shot. He's missed a pot. Oh, that is unfortunate. White's gone. Looks like the red... No, the red hasn't gone, but this gives Tom a chance to break the black out. There he is. What in the world has he done with that white? Why is he putting so much gear onto everything? He only just had to tap it out, but it doesn't matter. He's on the red, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. This will be 4-1, a completely undeserved lead. But to be fair to Tom, he has taken chances, I guess, at the end of frames when they've arisen. Steve on the table, frame number six, playing reds, and he's lost the white early. He's managed not to give Tom a shot and a visit. These yellows are split nicely for Tom, and if that black goes to the top left, which at first glance it does, Steve is in trouble. This hasn't been the sort of performance that we've been treated to from Steve in previous additions from the season he's been good he's given our better players all they can handle but for some reason he's just not been at the races maybe because he was playing tom and he thought you know what it doesn't matter because he's a muppet but tom this season is snatching wins where he's had losses and draws last year it is a slow return to form and Tom has displayed some battling qualities to pick up these wins. You might even say that he's a poor man, Scott, who just battles through games, takes what he's given and pinches the wins. That is absolutely diabolical how much he's missed that by. He's not happy with himself. It's 4-1. The result is really flattering him and he's played a few shots where he's been nowhere close I think today Steve has struggled really to grab hold of the white. He's left himself again awkward on this next red. And he's just played kind of a safety. The black going to the cushion has done him a favour. Tom gets another bite of the cherry with this plant. Can he make it this time? Yes, he can. He's got a little bit lucky as he went cushion first. Angle for this is pretty nice, actually. He's going to leave himself a good angle on the yellow, naturally, unless he gets a rush of blood and does that. The cue ball for both of these guys is just spraying everywhere. Hopefully, Tom can put us out of our misery. Is this one that final good shot? No, it was too much to hope for. He's left this, honestly, couldn't have put it worse. I don't know what the plan is. Double, maybe? I can't see it. Just roll off it. Oh, he has doubled it. Where does that come from? A final bit of quality, and it's 5-1. They shake hands, and Tom is still undefeated. 